Hey everybody, Abolitionist Jay here with today's vlog. It is currently about quarter after seven on June 19th, 2018. Murder Dog and I are currently at the Seaford train station in the parking lot. <laughs> We've been here for a few hours and, uh, well, there goes a train. So I'm going to uh, apologize in advance for the uh, noise, uh, but there's not much I could do about it. Uh, because I, I want to record this right now because we're actually going to hit the road and start making our way to Michigan tonight. We spent the night last night in our favorite loca our new favorite location. Uh, I managed to finish editing and proofreading uh, Shane Radliff's book, um, which, uh, which I was glad to finally uh, take care of. And uh, surprisingly, he actually told me that some of the notes were useful. Uh, I'm shocked, but uh, I'm glad I could help, buddy. Um, you know, that was, uh, it was an honor for me to be uh, tabbed to, to, to be one of the people to help with that. So uh, we got that knocked out of the way. And then, like I said, we spent a spent our, our night in our, our, fa our new favorite place. And uh, we got up this morning, you know, got my shower at Planet Fitness and went off to uh to the dog park with with murder dog and we went and the the kids and the wife stopped by for a little bit and you know they're of course still not feeling well so they came out just for a little while just to hang out and then they actually helped me out because i had to go to walmart and pick up a new canopy uh for for the midwest peace and liberty fest because the one that i used to have got destroyed last year and i kept putting off buying a new one because i was waiting to see if i had to buy another tent well, I was planning on buying another tent for the whole family because the one I have is, is a three-person one. And uh, you know, since they weren't go since they aren't going, I hadn't gotten to Walmart since I didn't need the tent. But I figured I would uh, go pick up the canopy today instead. So uh, I finally got one of those, and uh, I was able to uh, unload a few more things uh, into the wife's car, so we don't have to carry them with us. Because well, some of the stuff, unfortunately, I was planning on using for the kids, and since they're not coming, we don't need that extra weight anymore. Uh, so we did that and then, uh, murder dog and I actually went and hung out at another dog park for a few hours. It was really hot today. All the dogs in the, in the park were just kind of hanging out underneath the tables and stuff like that. But you know, she just, it was still good for her to be out of the car and it wasn't like she overheated. So, uh, and after we did that, we ended up at this train station because, well, I had to stop by an Amazon locker and pick up my one last delivery before, uh, before we head out, which is a replacement for the power inverter I have to help uh, charge all my uh, crap as I'm driving around. Uh, the one I had was kind of a cheap one and finally started to crap out over the past couple of days. It would just turn itself off randomly. Uh, the fan in it was going because it was getting louder and louder and louder. So I figured I would, you know, spend a little more money and buy a better one. So now we, now that I had to go pick that up anyway and the train station's across the street. So Murder Dog and I found the one shady spot that was over here when we got here and just kind of hung out for a few hours. Uh, I actually... Uh, just before the uh, the wife and kids came back again, they met us down here. I finally finished uh, the little novella hashtag Agora, which uh, excellent little book. I highly recommend. I'll put a link in the show notes. I think I've talked about it before. Highly recommend people reading that. It's uh, my, again my buddy Shane Radliff uh, helped put that book out. He stumbled across it in one of those. Uh, I can't remember the site that he found it on, but it was it was a little you know a hundred page or so novella written with uh, or maybe even less. I never know because my Kindle is. St I still have one of the older Kindles that uh, doesn't tell you the pages, even though they kept claiming that updates would fix that. It still gives you percentages, not pages. But anyway, uh, it's a short. It's a short book, uh, and uh, but it's but it's really good. And uh, Shane, Shane actually, wherever he, I, like I said, I forget the site that he found it on, but it was uh, it was put out with no name. It was you know the the author was anonymous, so he took it upon himself to use his uh, LUA publications and uh, put it out for uh, for sale, so people can uh, get a hold of it. And uh, I have the Kindle version, and uh, I finally finished it today. Like I said, great little read. I would highly recommend it. Uh, just about the time I was finishing that up, the uh, the wife and kids got here. So we could say our goodbyes, and it was sad because now it's finally dawning on my kids that not only are they not going to see Daddy for a little while, but they're not seeing Daddy because he's going to Michigan without them. So they were starting to get a little bummed about that, but, you know, not much we can do. You know, one of them's got the horrible cough right now. She's on all the on all the medication and stuff now, so she should be starting to get better in a day or two. But my wife said the other one started coughing earlier today too, so chances of them both having it come the weekend anyway are pretty good. And uh, the wife's still not feeling very well either, so we just hung out for a little bit, said her goodbyes, and Murder Dog and I are, are about to embark on our trip. Uh, so yeah, that's. Uh, 
Like uh, oh, that, uh, that's it. What I did, I started this by saying that that, that I, this is why we came to this decision. So after all of that, as I was sitting in the train station before the wife and kids arrived, I kept thinking, well, you know, my original plan was to leave tomorrow morning, but what sense does that really make? If I was going to have to leave, try to leave early enough to miss rush hour in New York so I could scoot out of here before rush hour gets too bad for the uh, almost 12-hour trip out to, uh, I think it's Astigo is the town we're going to now. I'm going to meet up with Shane Radliff and uh, our our other friend. Uh, our, our, our Well, he says we met last year, but I don't recall it. But anyway, our, our new friend, uh, the wandering agorist here on Steam It. Uh, who is also a van nomad and has been doing so for the past four years. We're actually going to meet with him at a campsite. I think it's about like 20, 25 minutes away from the where the Midwest Peace and Liberty Fest is being held. And uh, the three of us are going to spend one night together, just the three of us hanging out th- at that campsite and kind of, uh, you know, kind of like the new guard coming in to uh, meet up with the old guard of the van nomadism stuff because, uh, well, the Wandering Agris has been doing it for four years. I've been doing it for three weeks. Shane's literally going to be starting tomorrow. <laughs> so, you know, it, but it, it should be fun. You know, maybe we'll actually end up recording something too because I know Shane's got his equipment. I obviously have mine. Uh, maybe we'll do a little show or something while we're together. But anyway, so I, the more I thought about that, the more I realized it just doesn't make sense to wait till tomorrow because, you know, if I, as long, you know, I'd have to make sure I got up, try to take a quick shower, and then hop in the car and get out of here by like 6 30 ish, you know, to try to miss everything. And then, uh, and then I have to drive the 12 hours out that way. It just didn't make sense. So I decided that since I, wa- you know, I was going to have to leave so early that I wouldn't get to see the, k- the girls tomorrow anyway. You know, and I'm already awake. Why not at least try to make some of the trip now? So, you know, as I've talked about in the past, the part of the reason I have problems actually camping around here on Long Island is because there's only two campsites. They're both overpriced and uh, they don't offer a lot. And there's no free campsites, even though, you know, people who live the Vanu lifestyle, who do van nomadism, you know, recommend these couple of different websites that give you free campsites all over the place. Unfortunately, none of them are here on Long Island. There are, however, a number of them in Pennsylvania, which I would have to pass through in order to get to uh, in order to get to Michigan. So my plan is to finish recording this. And like I said, I want I was actually thinking about doing this this later, like once we got closer to where we plan on setting up for the night or maybe even when we got there. Number one, I don't know what time that's actually going to be. Number two, it's probably going to be dark, and I'm just going to want to sleep at that point. And number three, I think we're most likely going to stay at one of the free sites, which is... And, oh, there's my uh, computer making noise at me. Um, and that's going to, uh, you know, it's probably going to end up being in one of the state parks or something. So chances of actually having Wi-Fi to upload it, not very good. So I figured I would take care of it now, uh, just in case uh, we end up on the road longer than I plan or whatnot. So, yeah. So we are starting our journey, and like I said, the plan is to pretty much go as far as we can tonight. I think uh, the couple of sites I found somewhere in like the middle northern part of PA are like six hours out from here, which would put me roughly about halfway to, uh, halfway on our journey. So, you know, I figure if we do that, we set up there. Since we're going to get there late night anyway, we'll probably just uh, end up sleeping in the car still. But at least we'll be in a secure place that we know we don't have to worry about. And, heck, we might even be able to leave the windows open because we'll be in a campsite. And, uh, and yeah, and then we'll get up tomorrow morning and uh, continue on our way. And we'll meet up with Shane and, uh, at some point and uh, then hopefully with the Wandering Agorist at some point after that. And uh, hopefully at that point we'll uh, be able to record some more stuff. Um, I'm sure I'll end up shooting a, like a short video or two tomorrow with my phone. Um, and we'll figure out the vlog situation. Like I was saying last night, I'm not really sure how that's going to work once we're up there, but we'll figure it out. So yeah, I think that's about all I got right now. Uh, I'm kind of just itching to get going. So like I said, I figured I would just knock this out, say hello to everybody. Um, just because I know I I keep saying I'm doing these daily and I I kept making the joke. If you don't hear from me, somebody check on, check in on me. Well, I want you to let you know I'm, I'm doing all right. Obviously, you know, it was sad to say goodbye to the girls and the wife. You know, I am going to miss them. I, I really do wish they were coming. But, you know, what are you going to do? So, yeah, Murder Dog and I are uh, minutes. Well, actually, it depends how long it takes to upload this. This morning we had such a problem with DTube. I don't know what, like, I keep trying to use it. I, I want I want Steam It to be my home. And I really enjoy, like, the people and the conversation, like, the people I've met through this and the conversations I've had already. And I enjoy the service when, when it's working. But, oh, man. I went to go upload the, the the video I put out this morning, and it 
started to upload, and then there was a there was a line there was a queue line waiting to uh, to upload it to the I what is it IPFS IFPS I forget I always forget the acronym but whatever it is, uh, you know I was waiting in the queue, and while I was waiting in the queue, my my service got interrupted for like half a second, which threw everything off, and then it never finished uploading. And then when, when I tried to re-upload it, I tried over and over and over again from multiple locations from multiple different uh, Wi-Fi points. And it wouldn't even like I could I could uh, I could I could grab the video and and start posting it there, but it wouldn't even start uploading no matter what I did. It was hours. I think it was when we were finally at Walmart. Hours later, I was finally able to get it done. So hopefully it doesn't take that long this time because I, I would like to get going. Um, but yeah, so the next time you guys hear from us, we will be in a different state, and uh, our journey is uh, is about to begin. So thank you everybody as always for watching. Uh, thank you for your continued support. And uh, we'll catch you later. Peace, y'all.